Hi guys, hope you had a good day. I'm glad you're with me this afternoon. It's good to good to have everybody together to learn a little bit today. Hope you've had a good week. I brought something with me today. I hope you can see them. It's some signs. What does that sign say? Can you see it? Yeah, that's right. It says stop. Ooh. Let's see what my next sign says. Can you see it? It says danger. Do not enter. Have you ever seen that sign before? Then I have another one that says yield. wonder what that means. I think that means slow down. Be sure it's okay to go. Be sure it's okay to go before you start out. Then we have wrong way. Sometimes we see that sign that helps us know we're on the wrong path to go. How about this one? Yeah, that means you turn. That means you need to turn around and go the other way. This one just means there's a turn coming up. You're going to be making a turn. And then, what is this one? Go. That's right. It's a go sign. Well, I know all of you guys have probably seen some of these signs before, I'm sure. And all of these signs that we had today kind of lead us to go in a different direction. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Some, most of these signs tell us that if we're going along, sometimes we have to make a turn. Sometimes we have to do things a little bit different. It makes us see that if we want to love and obey God, sometimes we have to turn around from some of the things that we might be doing, some of the wrong things we might do. The Bible tells us in Psalm 119, 59, it says, I've considered my ways and turned my feet back to your laws. Now, buddy, that's pretty important because that means we've looked at the things we've done, we've thought about the things that we do, and we realize sometimes we might need to turn around and take another direction. You know, this verse just shows us that we can realize when we've made a mistake or we've done something wrong, we can turn away. We can turn and go a different direction. And by doing that, all we have to do is ask God for his forgiveness. And he'll help us make that turn and go the right way. Now, I know you've seen these signs before. I'm sure you have. But what do you think of all the signs that we saw? What do you think maybe is one of the most important important signs that we had. You know, I kind of thought it might be one that said, danger, do not enter. The reason I thought that is that word danger kind of makes you realize something bad could happen if you went that way. It makes you realize that you could get in danger by not doing what God wants us to do. Which one of these signs do you think might help us to know what to do if we've done something wrong? Well, I think there's probably at least one or two, but I think the one sign says turn, go a different way if you've done something wrong. Or even the U-turn sign means turn all the way around and go back to where you were when you were doing things that were good and right. Maybe we could also stop, slow down, look at what we're doing, and turn and make that U-turn to do the right direction. Well, the Bible tells us about a story of a king, and this is in 2 Kings 23, 1 through 3, and it tells us about a king, King Josiah, who had some people helping him clean out the temple one day. And they were cleaning out all the stuff in the temple and they found a scroll or some books of that time. And as he read those books, he realized they were the laws of God. They were commandments and the things that God had given them and wanted them to do. God's laws 
were in these scrolls that he found. And he read them. And you know what happened? He got so upset that he actually tore his robe off because he realized that he had not been doing what God had wanted him to do. He realized all of his people had not been obeying God and doing what God wanted them to do. And it upset him so bad, he wanted his people to turn around and turn back to God and turn and see what God wanted them to do. The people had been disobeying God and it had caused many problems for his kingdom. Let's see what the Bible tells us about that story. In 2 Kings 23, 1 through 3, when they reported Huldah's word in the, to the king, the king sent a message and all of Judah and Jerusalem's elders gathered before him. Then the king went up to the Lord's temple together with all the people of Judah and all the citizens of Jerusalem, the priests and the prophets and all the people, young and old alike. There the king read aloud all the words of the covenant scroll that had been found in the Lord's temple. The king stood beside the pillar and made a covenant with the Lord that he would follow the Lord by keeping his commandments and his laws and his regulations with all his heart and all his being in order to fulfill the words of the covenant that were written in this scroll. All of the people accepted the covenant. Wait, King Josiah had been so upset with everybody and he wanted to read them God's laws and let them hear what they should be doing. So what did he do? He read it to them so they'd know and he had the people to promise. It tells us they made a covenant, a promise to turn, maybe to do a U-turn and turn from their sinning and disobeying God. Turn back to God's laws because they were in danger and to stop doing wrong. You know, I think Josiah wanted the people of Judah to turn away from their wrong actions because he wanted them to know how much God loved them and God wanted the best for them. And if they were obeying God and loving God and doing what God wanted him to do, then his kingdom would be happy and fulfilled and they would be a good kingdom of people. So he wanted them to know what God wanted them to do. You know, maybe you can think of a time, maybe you needed to turn away a little bit from doing something wrong. Maybe you were kind of going the wrong way. I bet you can think of a time when you kind of got in trouble. I know I can. But you know, maybe it was a time when you yielded to temptation. Here's our yield sign. Yielded to temptation or went the wrong way. You didn't do what you were supposed to do or you were in great danger of getting in trouble. You know, we can turn our wrong actions into right actions. We can remember that when we do something wrong, all we need to do is ask for God's help and he can help turn us around and he'll forgive us and send us on the right way, the right path. You know, I'm very thankful that God forgives us and helps us to turn around and do things right when we need to stop and think about what we're doing. Sometimes we have to stop and realize what we're about to do, especially if we're about to do something we know is not right. But you know, turning around and walking away from something, that's not always easy, but that's what God wants us to do. And he'll always be ready to help us so that we can go in the right direction and go the way God wants us to go. Let's say our prayer. God, thank you for your forgiveness and help us when we try to go the wrong way. Help us when we sin. Help us turn away from our wrong actions and do what is right. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Everybody have a good week. I'll see you again next week. And remember, watch for those danger signs. Turn around. Do and go the way God wants you to go. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.